What is up YouTube, it's Pulse here, and this video is going to be the car loan calculator, and it's going to be adding list box and then 3D labels in here. I will show you guys how to set up 3D labels, because I have not gone over a video on how to do it yet. So you will need to grab your label first off, put any set label, change the text afterwards to nothing, but you're going to want to make sure that you have your border style at fixed 3D, and then your, where is it? Um, I don't see it on here at the moment. It was for the, um, auto sizing. Ah, uh, god, I don't see it. Anyways, it'll be somewhere around here, it'll be auto size, and it will disappear after you click it and move off of it. I don't see it anymore, actually, um, but yeah, I'll show you guys, basically, that's it for that part, um. I, this is going to be a label, so we're going to label it as LBL annual rate. And then our new or used group box is going to have our new button, which is rad new, and then rad used. Uh, cost of vehicle is going to is going to be uh, TXT cost, and then our down payment is going to be TXT down payment, and then number of months is going to be TXT months. And then we have our list box, which we're going to label as list output for this one. Um, that's it so far on the layout. Um, group boxes can be found under containers. List boxes can be found under general tools. So for this one, we're going to be setting three constants and then a um, defining something for our global variables. And then we're going to have about 11 local variables we're going to define. This one's going to be pretty extensive, so this one might take a little bit longer. Um, our first constant is going to be double months underscore year as double, since there's 12 months in a year. Our uh, next constant is going to be our new rate, which is what the um, tax rate is going to be on a new car, which is going to be 0.05, and then a used rate. Um, is going to be 0.08, those are both going to be set as doubles, and then our dim annual rate as double is going to equal the new rate. Um, yeah. So our next one for our local variables under our calculate button, we're going to define each and every one of these, so vehicle cost is going to be a double, down payment is going to be a double, months are going to be integers, our loan is going to be a double, our monthly payment is going to be a double, our interest is going to be a double, our principal will be a double, our count will be an integer, our string out will be a string, and then our boolean input box, okay, as boolean it will equal true, so. If not double, try pass text cost, uh, text comma equals double vehicle cost, then LBL message vehicle cost must be numeric value, boolean input to equal OK, false. So basically, if we do not have a valid numeric value for any three of these right here, then we're going to have to um, put a numeric value in there. It's got to be an integer, it can't be a decimal or anything, but yeah, these all three are going to be the same thing, except one's going to be cost, down payments, and months. And this is where it gets a little more in depth. So if Boolean input OK true, then we our double loan, which is the loan on the car, is the vehicle cost minus the down payment. And then our monthly payment is going to be PMT times the annual rate divided by 12 months, comma, the amount of months minus the loan. Our list output will be clear. And then our label text will be set for string empty at first. And then for count one to the integer months, we will have the interest as IPMT, and that will be the annual rate divided by months, year, comma, count, comma, our months, and then minus our loan. Our principal is going to be the exact same line. It's just going to be the principal of it. And then we are going to have our STR outs, which are going to be adding our lines into our... Um, into our list box, so it'll be string out equals space month and integer count to string d2. Uh, string out ampersand equals to, uh, I put colon and then payment and then equals, it just makes it look a little bit cleaner. Ampersand double monthly payment to string n2, which is going to be for the second line, so like you'll have one bar here and then one bar over here. 
our string out as um, interest will be our ampersand double interest to string and then our principal is our DBL principal to string and then what we're going to be doing is adding these all three of these items to our list box and it'll be LST output items add str out which will be all of those right there and then we're going to have to do some calculations in it for our new and used with the clear button um, I can show you guys can just read over this one right here real quick in the download in the description but it's just showing you how to clear everything a close button same thing everyone should know that um, this is where we calculate our new rate so it would be if radio button new is checked true then our annual rate will equal our new rate and the annual text uh, I'm sorry the annual rate dot text will equal the new rate to string and then it'll be clearing the list output items because it'll be registering these up here and it'll be injecting those into the list box same thing for used except it'll be if rad use is checked then it'll be dbl used um, for our rate and then our rate dot text will be the dbl use rate to string and clear it once again so basically what these are doing is it's taking our rates which is our annual one down here defined and it'll be dividing it by the 12 months in a year counting the number counting it for the sections and then the total number of months minus the amount on the loan and so I'm going to launch the program to show you guys what I'm talking about if this does seem a little confusing please contact me and I will explain it to you so I'm going to drag it over here so let's say the cost of our vehicle is ten thousand uh, dollars for our down payment we will put five hundred dollars and the number of months we're going to have the loan is twelve and the car is obviously used so our annual interest rate will be eight percent and then we will calculate it our first month payment will be eight hundred twenty six dollars and thirty nine cents our interest will be sixty three dollars and thirty three cents and our principal of this will be seventy six uh seven hundred and sixty three point oh six which our principal will be going up over time because we are paying more on our principal and our interest will go down over time and basically what it's saying is our principal is how much we owe on it and this is the interest of it we will be paying so our month one payment is this and then that and then it goes down and down and down so say we're going to have the month the car for double the amount of time our payments will be almost cut in half um, and so will our principal, everything will be about cut in half when you double the amount of time. So if we did a standard five year loan, so five times 12 is 60. So for 60 months, we'd be paying $192.63 a month. $63 will be of interest and the principal is how much we are paying off the total. And 63 months after that, our payment being the same, we will only be paying a dollar twenty-eight in interest, and it'll be going towards our entire premium, and the car will be paid off. If we did it for a new car, and our interest was only five percent, it would look a little bit different. It would be lower substantially, and then our interest would be um, higher, but our principal would also decrease just the same. Um, as you can see always towards the end you will be paying a higher amount than what the principal is because you will be paying off the interest but at month six your interest will only be 74 cents so this was just a little basic program that was really quickly for me to write but um, I do believe I may have butchered a, quite a few things in this video so if it does seem confusing please let me know guys and I will attempt to fix the errors I made or if the video seems fine on how I did it then kudos to me. Um, remember to leave a like and a sub, guys. I do take time out of my day to make these videos. If you do have any questions, once again, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you guys. So I'll be coming back at you in my next video hopefully soon.